Welcome. This is the uh, end of course practice test for Algebra 1. This is the third one, and this is question number 3. So the question says, what is the value of the expression 3xy squared over 4 minus x squared times y over 2? The real thing to go in and do most likely in your head is just to just dive into the calculator. Uh, sometimes you have to make little sacrifices for doing it that way. I'm going to do it a little bit of a longer way at first. I'm actually going to break the parts up a little bit before I start making grand movements to combine them. So I'm going to deal with 3xy squared first. My x, instead of x, I'm going to just use my negative 1 half. And then my y squared, I'm going to put 1 half squared. So this would be 3 times negative 1 half times 1 fourth. And then I deal with 3 times negative 1 eighth, so I end up with negative 3 eighths. That would be my top term. Uh, for x squared times y, I would do negative 1 squared times y, so 1 half. The squared goes away, or the negative goes away here because it's a square, so it's 1 fourth times 1 half, and you get 1 eighth. So on my top scenario, I end up with negative 3 eighths divided by 4, and uh, for the second set, I'm going to do 1 eighth divided by 2. Or I can just say negative 3 eighths times 1 fourth. That's okay, I'm allowed to do that. And I could also say 1 eighth times 2. So negative 3 times 1 would give you negative 3. 8 times 4 is 32. And for the last one, 1 eighth times 2 would give me 1 sixteenth. And that's a subtraction question. From here, I just need to find common denominator. So negative 3 over 32 minus 2 over 32. So negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5 over 32. That's one way to do it. Um, so you get B for your answer for that one. What is likely to happen in your life is you're going to try to use a calculator because you have a a limited time that you can focus on the, on the question. So still my suggestion is similar in the sense that I think you should spread it apart a little bit. I would do uh, the 3x squared y in its own column. I wouldn't start to try to put it all together because it's a gigantic problem for the calculator to do. And all you have to do is push one button and it ends up being wrong. So I would do 3 and then I would put inside my x maybe negative 1 half and you could do negative 0.5 or uh, put it in as a fraction if you want, but I'm just going to do negative 0.5. And then I would do 0.5 squared. So I'd hit enter and I'd get this. And I want to change it into a fraction because that's easier for me to work with. So I end up with negative 3 eighths just like I did before. Once I did that, I might leave it in my calculator. I might also just make a note to myself that, yeah, it's negative 3 over 8. And then I would have that answer. And I would divide by 4, and it gives me negative 3 over 32. So I would put negative 3 over 32 down. Now that I've used it, I'm going to mark this out, just to kind of remind myself where I've been. And from here, I want to do the second part. So hopefully I can bring, find my calculator hidden over here in the corner. And I can use um, the big issue here is you're going to have to do the negative inside the parentheses when you square it. Otherwise, it'll give you a different answer. Negative 0.5 squared and the parentheses negative 0.5 squared are different things. So be careful. That's where they'll get you if you're just a kind of a calculator junkie. Like, I'm not against you being a calculator junkie. I'm just saying that's where it'll trip you up. So you end up with negative point or positive 0.125, and I'm going to convert that into a fraction. And I get 1 eighth. I need to divide by 2 because it says over 2 in, in the problem, so I end up with uh, 1 16th. So I need to deal with the idea of this minus this. From here, I have a couple options that I can use. I think for the sake of, if you have a T84+, plus, most of you, the emulator doesn't do it, but if you, or, or one of the versions didn't do it, but this one does. So alpha y equals will bring up a fraction menu. So I'm going to do negative 3 over 32. If you have the uh, TI-84 Plus that's in color, the math menu will actually have that fraction drop-down available for you. It's just over to the right. So minus alpha y equals, 
You hit the fraction button again, and it's 1 over 16. So you'll get a final answer of negative 5 over 32, which is B. That's exactly what we thought it was. So there's your two options. You can do it by hand. You can do it by calculator. Just use a little discretion, and I think you can get to the right answer.